Hi, race fans, and welcome to the Martinsville Preview Edition of Racing One Cast. With only five races to go, Sunday Subway 500 at Martinsville Speedway kicks off the second half of the 2007 Chase for the NASCAR Nextel Cup. Seven-time Martinsville winner Jeff Gordon heads into the weekend at the series point lead after capturing two consecutive wins at Talladega Super Speedway and Lowe's Motor Speedway. Sunday will mark Gordon's 30th career start at the .526 mile track. This past April, he came up short of the win, finishing second to his teammate Jimmy Johnson after a last lap battle. Gordon's last Martinsville win in this event was in 2005, the first with crew chief Steve Letart. Letart, who has gone on to win eight more races with Gordon since then, believes that having a patient driver is important to making it into Martinsville's victory lane. Martinsville, I'd love to say it's set up, but I think we just have a really patient driver. Um, the problem with these new cars is they're, they're only built to go a certain speed. So the trick at Martinsville is to have a car that has decent drive off, it's good under braking, it just needs to be maneuverable. Uh, when you catch a lap car and he wants to run the bottom or protect the bottom, you have to have a car that you can move up and that's usually done and just having a, a you know, it's, it's basic short track racing. You know, that's the roll and have good drive off. Gordon's teammate Johnson also has a stellar record at Martinsville. In the last 10 races, Johnson has notched finishes of ninth or better, including three wins. Johnson's win back in the spring came in the first race for the car of tomorrow at the track. And with Martinsville being so demanding on brakes, Johnson's crew chief, Chad Knauss, talked about the challenges with the COT at Martinsville. Martinsville's, uh, Martinsville's tough. Uh, obviously, we've got the new COTs there. And uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to win there in the spring, but it really poses a lot of, uh, of new circumstances because these cars are so big and so heavy, the brake packages are under a lot of stress. So we're continuously evolving those, trying to get those a little bit better. And monitoring your brake wear and, and saving some for the end of the race because it is a 500, mile, or 500 lap race is real difficult. So you have to have a lot of patience and uh, keep a little bit of reserve for the end of the race. In the last 10 races at Martinsville, only Kurt Busch, Bobby Labonte, and Tony Stewart are the only active drivers beside Gordon and Johnson to have posted a win at Martinsville. Stewart is the only one of the three that has defeated the Hendrick duo in the last five years. Rusty Wallace, who will be calling the race on Sunday on ABC TV, won the spring race in 2004, marking the last of his 55 career cup victories. Sunday Subway 500 is slated to take the green flag at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Be sure to check back with Racing One all weekend for the latest news around the world of motorsports. For Racing One Cast, this is Pete Bastoni reporting.